Hello everybody, Rob here again. Thank you guys for joining again for a live stream and today a little bit of background on uh, the new release we had, which is uh, Facto, a very successful release. We have some very positive commands to um, uh, on new products. And of course, uh, the uh, Explorer 5 uh, users were very happy to have a new inspirational uh, machine. So, um, yeah, I did post a picture on uh, Facebook and, and it mentioned, uh, if you want to know what is this about, so you see here a picture from a house and you see a car, a garage, and you see a door, but in front you also can see a pole. And this pole, um, I, I did sample for uh, Vecto at that time. I think it, it came also inside the some other plugins and in the future it also will drop into Bluetooth for instance but this poll is uh, in front of the house of a friend of mine and I, uh, I like the sound of it and of course the biggest problem was sampling it because you have all kind of birds uh, flying around in this area and cars passing so it was quite a a, sh a sheer amount of hitting the pole to get the sound without any surrounding noises and uh, typically so let's go to the sound and um, let me show you a few examples what we did with this uh, sample so when I go back here on one second I need to open again Facto and <clears throat> Okay. Here is Vecto. Uh, well, this is a different sound. I will play them again. So I played it in the start. But if you go to a default patch, there I made a preset now, which is called Pull. And this is the the waveform. So if you have the waveforms here, and each oscillator starts with the analog waveforms, additive waveforms, uh, spectral waveforms, which are fantasy waveforms, and then you got a range of samples, which are especially dedicated to synth sound so don't expect a um, piano inside of it or that kind of stuff it's really focusing on making great synth sounds and one of these sounds is indeed then this pole and here it is pole one and this is the the um the sound without any uh synth features like filters or whatever so this is the pure sound So what I did, of course, is sample it and then loop it. Of course, it's loop at the end. And of course, I picked the right pitch. Uh, it was very close to a, a um, A, so the A note. And um, well, then you pitch it and you can play tuned with it. And uh, there are some variations. So if you look to pull. 1S, which means it's stereo. That's the stereo version. And then um, you have two stereo that has a bit of different setting. This one has an octave. So there are different variations. This one has a different sound mixed to it. This is the pole. Uh, plus something special added to it and of course this is in the background and uh, so if I go now to a preset which uses this pole let's see um, I need to check where I placed it I think this one is a uh, Too, but I had a better one, so let's see where it is. Here it is. This is the sound called a pole thin. So it's it's definitely this pole sound in oscillator two, and uh, so this pole, this is the pole, and then oscillator two uh, uses this pole sample, and it's stacked together with a vocal sample which is a mmm sound and then you get this this very nice sound
I uh, shut down the uh, microphone, otherwise you hear the clacking of the keyboard. So you, hear, you can make some very interesting sounds simply by a, using an acoustic uh, instrument. The other preset which I played in the start, okay, so I go here to the quick browse, there I have recently browsed. Um, let me see. Um, no, it's not this one. Let me see where it is. So this is a preset from Jamal. It looks very similar, and that's what, in the terms of feedback, from what we get from people is okay it reminds me in far also to the d50 and the way station type of sounds and that's because yeah we co combine synthesis with a range of samples of course these are totally different samples but it has the si same vibe and and feel to it so um and this one uses uh, ring fx and that is in oscillator one These are ring tambourines, which I stacked. Yeah, so someone mentioned, yeah, this is a typical, uh, yeah, really Vector is great for ambient music, synth sounds, people really, really like synth sounds has a very own uh, character because it combines the power of having a range of very good high quality samples together with with synthesis with real synthesis so i mean these saw waves which are inside of it are not sampled but it generated uh, saw waves modeled saw waves so another example is from the sin bank which is one of the newer presets is that's my um and uh, the uh yeah a, a type of D50 sound, and I call it D Vecto, because of course, Vector is a synth of this age. But um, it sounds also a bit like a D50 type inspired uh, synth sound. So, okay, let's mute the microphone. Okay, my chord progression was not that good, but you see here we use FX17, which is a percussion sound. And to illustrate what I did uh, with sampling, and sometimes I don't recall anymore what I did. Uh, let's go down here and... Uh For example, okay, you can see me here again. You see this one, this is an old spoon. I, I put it on a um, on a, a little uh, cord and then, so this is a uh, spoon sound which I used. Uh, sometimes I uh, also loop it and process it of course. Then there is this, this is an interesting one. I guess nobody knows what it is. But this is a um, hand blender, so if you want to blend something, so I leave out the uh, the scissors inside of it. But it has a very interesting sound. It's very high quality metal, so of course now you hear it from the uh, the other microphones. Yeah. Um, now we have, of course, G Pack. Uh, for 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 photos uh, making pictures, but this is uh, in the age ahead of GPAC. This is a uh, film box where you, they put in the film box for for the camera. Uh, I put some sand or uh, things in it. Um, I believe it's rice. And you get some different shakers. Um, this one. 
I believe that one is in punch, but I'm not sure. Uh, most likely it's also in this one. This is a little plastic thing, but it's so nasty. It's like a clave type sound, but very high. And of course we have all kinds of bottles on board. And this one I found in my little box. And, and of course, if I go now to the uh, waveforms here, you also will find the bottle. There are several types of that uh, sample. And so this FX17, most likely it's a tube. And I combine this sound, this oscillator one, together with the synth uh, part, which is regular saw waves. So together, um, I click original, together with this attack sample of one of the percussion sounds, you really get this different type of sounds. Yeah, the kitchen is a very good space for having some additional sounds. Uh, somebody is asking, does it have a randomizer? No, it doesn't have a randomizer. I'm no, um, not a big fan of randomizer. Uh, I'll rather treat myself more conscious. In, and because uh, we have a randomizer, we had one in, if I'm not wrong, in Predator. And that changes certain parameters. And that's a bit better. And sometimes you run in very good uh, sounds, variations. But we added not this... Uh, to the um, the Facto synthesizer and of course just by picking different waveforms you easily get very fast different sounds so if I would pick here a different other percussion sound so let's take another sample here instead of this metal thing I take something different <laughs> So the uh, and of course now you hear that this oscillator one keeps on playing, and if you want to get rid of this uh, sound that it is only because this one is looped, you can hear it. You can say here in oscillator one volume control, and you could say okay, use the free envelope one to control the volume of only the first oscillator, and down here is the envelope one, so you can make it at this. So that you have volume control in each oscillator uh, is possible simply by picking one of the volume controls. So it could be an LFO, a controller, or in this case I use the envelope one. And it's the, the advantage of Facto compared, for instance, to Blue 2, which is a much deeper synthesizer, but has also far more pages. And the advantage of Facto, everything is in front. So it's fun to add it sounds. It's uh, uh, you hardly can go uh, wrong with this and um, okay so let's go back to the samples because I have also this one here and this one this is the boil you see a nice boil I uh, I was in a shop in a in a Dutch island, which is in the north, which is called Te Tessel, and they had a very nice shop, and I saw this uh, boil, and of course I hit it, and it had a very nice sound. It's uh, very dark. And uh, so this one is also inside of uh, Facto. So just as a bit of background, where all these funny names come from, so they are really things which I uh, did sample. Um, let me see, where is the boil sample? Here they are, I think. I went over it. And down here it really gets dirty, so it's, I'm not sure where it is sampled, but I went over this boil, 
looped it, and that is the uh, the ball ball sound. This is stereo. And it's, and the nice thing about it is then if you play down, you get really this typical sound of a sample playing on a lower pitch, which has a kind of artifact, which is what makes the sound to mine an uh, idea. So I'm not sure if I can find again the sound which uses this. Okay, let me see. Um, yeah. Facto ships with over 1,000 presets, and of course, after this month, it will be growing even more. Let's see where I can find it. Um, it's this one, no. Okay, that's silly. Where is it? I should should have uh, marked it, of course, which I forgot. No, it should be somewhere where I use this boil, maybe in the ambient bank. So let's look here. Ah, here it is. Boil Fox Move. There it is used. You see, there's the, this, uh, this little baby landed in Facto. And here, of course, the uh, the um, the factor thing is used. It goes from this boil head. It moves over to the second oscillator, which is this the choir. That's of course cool. You have a very dynamic moving sound. Let's play without uh, my microphone. So that has an example of this boil. Okay, let's check in the chat room. Somebody um, is asking a question. Let me see. Are there some note random options in the modulation source in Vector? Yeah, that is a good question. Let's see if we can find something. I go to the default breach patch. Pick there a uh, okay. I'll see what we have. We have MIDI, which is the traditional. Yeah, in MIDI you go down. You have Note Random One, Note Random Two, Unipolar, which is uh, One Direction, uh, Note Random One and Two. So it should work. Note Random One. Let's see how that works on the pitch. Oscillator One. So that's that's there. So the random option is inside the modulation source. Then uh, Alex uh, Longard asks, "Hi Rob, show please how to select one sound in percussion samples and how to fix a static sound in a pedulator." Oh, okay, as a static sound in a pedulator. Yeah, what you could do if if I understand your question. Uh, let's see. When I take a percussion sample, bass drum. Now it has random. You shut it off. Bass drum one. It's bass drum two. So this is a bass drum. Now when I uh, do here keyboard tracking off, it has only one steady uh, note pitch. And uh, so if I now play the arpeggiator. Okay, some notes on. Yeah, sure, that's a very good uh, feature that, so the, it's keyboard tracking. What uh, what it means that if that the oscillator follows the keyboard so that you can play the keyboard uh, and the uh, sounds. So if I would put it off in the saw wave here, uh, keyboard off, then you don't have notes, only one note. 
It's essentially like a model of synthesize. You need to uh, have the output, the CV output of the uh, from the keyboard to your model of synthesizer pitch input of your oscillator. And now with Vector, you don't see a patch cable, but it's this on-off button which controls it. So that's absolutely cool to use that in, co in combination with the arpeggiator. Is that maybe the thing I guess you wanted to ask? And I think there are good examples from Jamal who uses this then most likely. Um this is a regular arpeggiator sound. I'm looking now more to a different one. No. Well, we have some percussion. That's also the wrong one. Okay, then maybe it's here an example. So this, for instance, I if you would take this sound, has four oscillators, and you could say spectrum on number four would be, for instance, not a uh, waveform, but for instance, a, um, let's, let's, well, let's pick something. Well, this is tuned percussion and because it samples, well, it's just a snare. And then I shut down the keyboard, and then the snare has each time the same pitch. Can tune it up. something else I fix samples they are very cool for doing some rhythm stuff and what you also could do is even re-trigger here so I even could say re-trigger this sample on uh, let's see quantized beat 1 8 Let's put this to direct. Yeah, it all kind of uh, funny things are possible. Uh, so of course the pedrator playing. So now the retriggering is not really doing what I want to do. Uh, let's go to poly mode in the play mode. Okay, so re-triggering, it should be re-triggering now. And uh, why is that the case? Once, okay, should I connect a free envelope too? Okay, I'm doing something wrong here. I'm not sure what, but I'm doing something wrong because the re-triggering, ah, okay, here it is, of course, the sustain of the envelope is zero. See now it's the re-triggering working. You hear this re-triggering? So it re-triggers now on uh, on eight notes each time. So this envelope I don't need it. So so it keeps on re-triggering this FX3. So in the example bank I have some examples of this. So uh, let me see if this. I guess I did call it re-trigger. Not the steer pedrator, no. Too many presets on board, I believe. Well, this is the delay feature, so oscillator 1, 2, 3 and 4 are each time a bit delayed. So oscillator 1 plays on, if I hit the note, then second oscillator is spectrum uh, waveform number 1 is one quarter beat later. So here you also could pick, for instance, a uh, effect sample. Let's see, a bit longer one. 
and do the keyboard tracking. And then, for instance, oscillator 3 would kick in uh, half a bar. And oscillator 4 would... So this is the delay function which each oscillator has. And oscillator 4 has a 1-8 note quarter beat. So all kind of interesting things are possible. Uh, somebody is asking, is there any rimba? Yeah, rimba type is there, but yeah, I'm not sure if it's fully rimba. It has this... Um, so it's a xylophone, which is, uh, of course, not a marimba, but these are two presets, marimba one. Remember marimba 2. Okay, so um, then there's a question, Rob. Can you show how to synthesize three D moved sounds? Uh, yeah, if I, it's very essentially with vector, it's very simple. You go to the, uh, let's say a default patch, pick a default patch, and the X Y is very central here. You see, it's a red color, and the direct. If you uh, have direct or recording, or replay it, so record a movement and then you can replay it, and of course you have to put on the vector on and this means that it then mixes between the volumes of the four oscillators if you all four of them are active then with vector on you move between these four oscillators so let's put it back to direct I put off the vector on so I put it off I pick here four types of waveforms and to make it I take a saw waveform and oscillator 2 I take a uh, sample just to have a big difference in sound. Oscillator 3, I pick um, a choir sound. And oscillator 4, I pick, for instance, one of the uh, additive waves. Okay, um, glass. So now they all sound at once. So uh, the moment when I put on vector, then this dot here controls the volume between oscillator 1, which is the saw, Oscillator 2 is the strings, 3 is the squire sound, and 4 is this glass waveform. So now in direct mode, which you select here, and vector on, you can mix between the four oscillators. And of course, I can record this. So I can record this now and replay it. By clicking on edit, I can make this movement visible. You see it has 32 steps. Uh, the mode is poly, which means that each note, well, hit, see what happens if I hit the second note, that each note starts its own movement. So the first note. That's polyphonic. Then we have um, mono, and mono, each time I hit a note, it re-triggers and starts at zero. So it depends on how you want to do it. And then of course there is free mode and free mode means that it keeps on running. So it continue, continuously. Uh, and of course you have the loop mode. And now with free it continues automatically loops. But you can say in for instance poly mode that you start the loop from step one. Or maybe from step 16. Yes, that's and you can add it, you see, if you and while the cool thing is it's also MIDI time based. Now it's synced to one bar basic speed. So if you would have a beat, I don't know if I have a beat in the sequencer, I don't think so. Let's see if that works.
So it's MIDI time based. You can set this thing to MIDI time based. Off is of course the free recording what you did, but in most of the time it's tempo based is the best setting. And if you have a one bar setting to the whole movement to one bar, you still can increase from this bar to a high speed by using this dial or speed control. So if I could say here, and that's a cool thing to use, for instance, the MIDI uh, pitch band. So I shut down here the pitch band and use the pitch band to control the speed of this movement. So watch the pitch band. I think it's in upper left corner. You can see it. So this whole XY has, in fact, um, three modes. You can uh, put it off and then you can use, so the vector mode off, that, that, that does mean that it doesn't control the volumes anymore, but then you could use it here um, as, for instance, the X and Y. You could, you could use it here to control other things like the filter, so if you would put here a filter on 12 band pass, uh, it can control the filter frequency. And that this you need to arrange in the modulation matrix, of course. These are then, uh, in this mode, you see it has replay, so it plays it automatically but the vector on button is off. This means so that it doesn't control anymore the oscillators and its balance in between. Let this shut down. So when I want to say, oh, now I want to control the four oscillators, then put vector on, and then it goes from oscillator one to oscillator three and four. That's also why you see now the numbers jump in. So when I click vector on, you see the numbers jumping in. Yeah, somebody does mention Bluetooth. Yeah, Bluetooth has essentially the same system, only um, in Bluetooth is the XY pad not always visible. You need to select it in the top screen. But there is also a vector mode, and in Bluetooth it controls then the four uh, oscillators. Maybe I should show it to you. Uh, instrument MIDI. Oops. So I'll go to the next preset and in blue too you see for instance here the XY is lighter blue color. This means that the XY in this preset is active. So when I click on this one you see the uh, it is open. Around the XY you have other targets but you see here vector synth which means that you can control between oscillator A, B, C and D. So, um, yeah, so essentially, um, uh, Facto and Bluetooth are very close to each other. Only Blue has far more other options. You see, it has multiple pages, it has multi stage envelopes, it has all kind of other stuff, modulation sequencer. It's really a very modular synthesizer. It has a regular sequencer, it has a arpeggiator. And of course, Blue 2 is the successor of the original Blue, which combines FM synthesis together with subtractive. And uh, in Blue 2, we added the XY and also a range of samples. So it's a very, very deep synthesizer. And uh, But still, uh, with Facto, it's then maybe a less complex, but you simply do different things with it. And I mean, the presets show it. There are totally different presets appearing in Facto compared to Bluetooth, and that makes synthesizers so great. Each has its own focus, and each has its own um, wrong, uh, strong points and weak points, of course. I mean, Vector is not really a EDM machine, if or if you want to make hardcore. Although, of course, in dance music, they also a regular use some nice pet sounds. And uh, I mean, 
yeah and producers good producers think out of the box and will use of course also different synthesizers and different uh, synths okay so let's see let's go back to factor okay here it is and i made some cool by the way last out of the release i had such a cool fx sounds with factor because it has this high quality reverb and some typical percussion sounds here you see i use the pole sound which i did mention and for the people uh, who are a bit later this is the pole i did sample at the house of a friend of mine it was about the, about the note a and i tuned it did loop it and it's now used in the synthesizer it's the pole one inside facto and i combine it with a tube which i did sample and let's see Well, this one uses a comp filter and filter one, which is very cool. Jamal uses it a lot. It's a very cool filter. It's a kind of delay inside of it. So this is really a cool FX sound or this one. And this one uses a uh, bottle. Yeah, so that's the cool thing. You can combine synthesis with, with samples. And my approach to these samples is really to make uh, make them useful in a synthesizer uh, concept. Of course, there are acoustic, real acoustic instruments like if you go to the synth sounds, you can see some very nice pan flutes. And uh, I have a pan flute here. It's down there. That's not the one I did sample. I had really a professional guy with a pan flute, a very expensive pan flute, and that one I sampled. This is not what you would call a EDM sound, but people who make ambient music or or do other styles of music would love this sound it's a very high quality um, and we have different types of pan flutes this hey. it's a more slow attack and of course the nice reverb is the icing on the cake um, so I played this also last week. The combination of synth sounds together with choirs is very nice. Let me see, I had this one. I believe it was this one, which was a pretty new preset. People, some people might think, okay, this is maybe fully samples. No, 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 the choir is a sample, but the rest you hear is really synthesis. And if you would resample this, this would be a massive amount of gigabytes of samples because it has a lot of difference in tone. So that's the power of, um, of Facto case. Digital wine. I'm looking for one particular sound. No, well, give me one second. I was looking for the bottled sound, but for some reason I lost it again. Anyhow, um, is it a bit clear about how to use the um, the factor part, of course, um, in the rhythm sounds there are some new things which also do you see a lot of matrix is going on here 
the eerie sound. This is really something for a. Uh, be cool for a kind of science fiction uh, movie and this preset uses three oscillators and there's a lot of re-triggering in this one going on it's called construct C and there's also construct B of course which uses also a waveform so this is a combination of a square synth sound and then again percussion so that's also what you can do yourself. Put some oscillators off and see what happens. Maybe you only want to use this one. So there are many presets on board. Uh, one of the ones, uh, let me see which, where they are. There's one person who had quite some wobbles. <laughs> So it's, uh, you see, this is very different, of course. So, so also would be cool for drum and bass, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's up to you. Sometimes you run into totally different things than what you planned. And, uh, of course, the, a lot of the presets to focus on nice, cool, and smooth synth sounds and ambient stuff, but it's up to you how to use it. Okay, so I'm checking if I don't... Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, about... Um, um, we have, this is of course the VST version, but originally, go here, let's go away with this it was of course a rack extension and what we did also with the rack extension is uh, added the new presets we added the improved reverb code so you have a very smooth high quality reverb inside Effecto in the rack extension and also um, in FX2 you can now combine the reverb together with the delay, uh, in the earlier version, you only could use reverb or delay, but now it's possible to use both. So let me show you with an example. If I have one somewhere, let me see. I think it's... Yeah, this one. This is called Another Journey. This is also a preset then, also in your rack extension. Very nice uh, pad sound. And you see here, FX2, you see the delay is visible, but you also can select reverb and edit. And here in the root, you can see it first goes to the reverb and from the reverb and goes into delay. And now if I have so the reverb, I can uh, mix between the sound which comes from the FX1, which is the phaser. So now I can add a bit of reverb to the phaser sound. And then I can select the delay and add also mix between the sound that comes from the reverb and then add also delay. So essentially there are now three sounds in a series, a phaser, then it goes to the reverb and then to the delay. And of course I could do it also the other way around, first to the delay and then to the reverse, uh, reverb. So now I have the delay after the phaser And after that, I have to refurb. So that's a uh, new feature also in the reg extension. And the reg extension also has all the new presets. And if you make a lot of own presets, we have again uh, in the tool section. So if you go to um, the VST page, 
of Facto. Uh, there we have a tools part, and in this tool part, you can have a um, a plugin which installs as a VST, which makes that you can convert your rec extension banks you maybe you made yourself or presets to the VST presets, and also the other way around. So if so what we do now, of course, with the new presets, we convert them from this into the new um, the new presets from the VST. We copy also over to the rec extension, and for this we use the the other converter, and both are in the tools section. And as mentioned, the reverb is really top quality. Really makes the sound finishes off. Um, let me see if I have a in the ambient sound. We have of course some some mellow sounds. This one uses the reverb, and I'll, I will increase it a bit more to show you how smooth it sounds. And of course, I will shut down the microphone because it's quite of noisy. Yeah, so what I did is I increased a bit the reverb here with the mix and increased, increased also the length. So you really have a very smooth, silky, ambient synth sound. And uh, yeah, uh, as mentioned, the big advantage of Facto is that it has many fantastic presets. It's very user friendly. I mean, it's everything is in front and it has some high quality uh, sounds on board. Okay, let's go back to the uh, chat room. Maybe anybody else has a question? I'm not sure. Yeah, if you maybe are new to Vecto, and maybe this is your first Rob Harpen synthesizer uh, as VST, go to the manager, then we have some nice features. Um, I need to make a tutorial about it, what you can do, because here you can give everything a star. So if you go into the presets and you like one preset, for instance, you like this one here, then you give it a star. <laughs> Then the next time you are in this bank, you already know, oh, that was the preset. Then there is another feature where you can copy your presets into this favorite folders. That's also an option. And uh, so I made this, uh, this bank manager system is the same as we use in Predator 2, or for instance, Subboom Base 2 and in Go 2. You also could check down the uh, tutorial on preset and banks in Predator 2, for instance, to see how it all works. But it's a very nice feature. It saves you a lot of time when you make music because yeah we have many presets on board and if you have already it's fun to go from one bank to another but if you think okay this sound i want to use sometime then you simply give it a uh, a um, a star and it's always possible to copy over this to your new system because it's a little text file which you can copy from the computer to another computer or back it up so um so I make a video about it because um, we run quite in some new users now and then of course it's easy and uh, very good to tell how you can work with the bank manager. It saves a lot of time. Okay. Yeah, this is um, somebody's ad is asking, is this the new version? Yeah, the original version came out, I think, in 2015. I'm not sure about it, but... Uh, and and that one was only a rec extension. And this rec extension is now uh, updated. So if you have Vecto, the rec extension in your region rec, log in to the Propeller account and download the latest versions. This, this update with the improved reverb sound, with the... Uh, new FX2 um, root option 
and the new presets they uh, it's a free update so download it install it and then you have um, all the new stuff from Vecto in also in your rack extension and what you see now is the VST version of this rack extension so originally we created Vecto as a dedicated um, um, rack extension but yeah we had some requests people did saw this other uh, tutorial about Vecto on YouTube and we had many times request oh this is a nice synthesizer can we have it maybe not uh, for our other uh, host sequences so logic or cubase or whatever or reap or whatever what people are using so that's the story so yeah it's uh, you, if you have direct extension log in download the latest version and um there are some quite some new presets on board I'm not sure where I had an image of the new presets where you could find them. Let me see. Oh, one second, guys. I catch it up for you. Let me see. I need to go. It's a bit messy now. Sorry, I'm making a lot of mess here with the... Uh, I wanted to show you something. Okay. Bummer. Can I trace them now? Yeah, anyhow, for sure you will find new presets in the introduction bank. A few synth sounds you will find new on ambient pads, rhythm sounds, tonal access has new one, the Audition 2 is a new preset. Uh, and of course more will follow because after in March most likely we, uh, uh, we have some other new material because Jumal which is of course our in-house brilliant sound designer also is working on new material so um, it's also nice and by the way I have Vector also can do some FM synthesis this, this is using FM modulation Okay, so I'm checking here for other questions. Rob, may I have missed this, but is the XY pad movement for all voices or can it be set per voice? It's, uh, yeah, that's, um, you see here, it has a movement and the mode is polyphonic. So each note I hit starts its own movement. Therefore you see two dots. I played two notes now. So if I play three notes, you have three dots. If you have monophonic, it means that it restarts each time I hit a note, then the movement is monophonic. So it really depends on the sound. Um, so let's go back to this bar. Um, yeah, let me see. This one is a very good one to display. So this is a sound that starts with this boil. And then it moves to the right, which is the oscillator 2. And this one is also in polyphonic mode. If I play now the note after each other, you see three dots going. So that's polyphonic XY. It's a very sophisticated modulator, in fact. And uh, uh, if you go to mono, each time I hit a note, then it triggers again and starts at zero. So I hit the note other note you see jumps back and of course there's free mode then it continuously keeps on moving so plenty cool sounds on board which uses the uh, replay functions you can edit it if you want to edit the sound all possible 
It's a very, everything is in front, but it's a very deep, deep synthesizer. Is there a free mode just like Bolly, but no re-trigger? Um, yeah, with the filter, it's the same story. Each, each, uh, it's polyphonic. Each movement also is on the uh, the filter. It's uh, polyphonic. If you use, uh, if you would use now this movement to the address it to the filter. So let's say polyphonic, and I use the um, the X movement. Uh, filter one. Okay, filter one. Frequency. I don't have any filter, so let's give it a band pass off. Okay, I need to sh Of course I need to send in the sound into the You hear the filter now? I did send it in the filter, it goes whoosh And now if I hit polyphonic, you have polyphonic filter movements Because each voice has its own filter So that's also polyphonic. And uh, the point is when you hit the um, arpeggiator, so in play mode, now it's polyphonic play mode, arpeggiator, then it uh, jumps to free. Okay, it doesn't do it yet. We, uh, with Go2 we did it so that if you hit arpeggiator that it jumps to free mode because the mono and uh, poly doesn't make sense with the arpeggiator because each time it has its trigger. So free mode would be the mode which you would use with the arpeggiator. Now it doesn't jump to free mode but we add that to the, uh, the next update because it doesn't make sense if you have the arpeggiator to use other modes uh, other than free. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Yeah, anyhow, thanks guys for watching. We had uh, some interesting things to show and uh, I would say stay, uh, keep an eye on Facto anyhow because very soon, for at least next month, we will be uh, looking for making it Anka as compatible. So if people are using the Anka as keyboard from native instruments they can use uh, the anchor as for searching presets and that kind of uh, thing and use the controllers in a different way so that's planned next month and also some additional new presets which we release in the regular vector but also in the rack extension uh, anyhow thanks for watching guys and as mentioned the playlist uh, live stream you always can watch this live stream back so if you missed for instance the start of the uh, the, uh, the uh, live stream today you can always watch it back and pick this date and you will find it back in the playlist live stream on youtube anyhow thank you for watching and see you next time guys